so adventuresome, that piece. I love this piece. It's a toccata by Sergio Assad, and I love practicing it. But it's not always fun to practice. There have been days when I didn't want to practice. Even if I was working on that piece, I would think about practicing and I'd be like, ah, I just don't feel like it. I'm just bored because it's a lot of work to practice up any kind of piece of classical guitar music. We, it's fun at the beginning and then we hit this point where it just, it's just work and it's just polishing things that just resist polish and it's just, it's just brain work. And some days we just want to change a pace. So do we just go out for coffee? No, we actually want to still practice. We want to keep up our schedule, but we need a change of pace. And that is when we can use what I like to call adventure practice. And that is the topic of this video. I'll give you five different ways you can add adventure and thrill to your practice on those times when it's just a little bit stale. I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed. And in this video, you will learn to be adventurous. So first off, if boredom in your practice is chronic, if this happens a lot, if you get bored in your practice a lot, then you're not doing it right. You're just not practicing right. Because ideally when you're practicing, you're meeting challenges, you're setting little challenges for yourself and you're riding that edge of things are hard, but not too hard. And if you're doing that, then it, it's not boring. So even if you're playing scales, there are specific things that you can practice and pay attention to that make it not boring at all because it's a game. You're trying to meet a particular challenge. There's something that you know of that's just beyond your ability level. And if you're doing that on a regular basis, that's how you get better. And that's how practice is really good all the time. However, we still do have these days where we just need to change a pace and something we just need to change it up. And the first suggestion for practicing more adventurously is to change the place that you practice. If you're in a room and you always practice in the same space, you can just turn the chair and face a different direction. It's amazing at how different that is. Your visual field is different, right? You can also practice in a different place in the house. Take it into the kitchen. Take it into the bathroom. It sounds amazing in there. So find a different place. Go out onto the porch. Figure it out where you can go someplace different. If you really want to change it up, pack up your guitar and and go someplace completely different. If you have some place, go to a park or go just anywhere. But changing the place is a wonderful way just to add some variety to your playing. Number two is to scramble the schedule. This is practicing at a different time. If you always practice right after breakfast, try bumping it later in the morning or practice it at night. You can practice right after a bath. Amazing, because then you're all relaxed. You could also practice just before bed, or if you typically practice just before bed, first thing in the morning, wake up early and do it. Number three, construct an occasion for it. So make it fancy, dress up, you know, put on your, your frilly tuxedo shirt and practice that way, or, you know, put on your Sunday best, or wear nothing at all, or wear an outlandish costume, put on some makeup, I haven't actually done that myself, but you could do it. You can also set a new atmosphere. So light some candles, put on a, the sound of a babbling brook really low in the background. You can change the environment, even in the space that you're in, so that it's a completely different mood. And that's going to bring a new variation to your practice. Number four, up the stakes. So add some pressure, add some adrenaline to it. And so how do you do this? One, you could play for other people. That brings some adrenaline. You could also put on the video camera, prop up your phone and record yourself. This is great for practice anyway, but it adds a little bit of stakes. It adds a little bit of threat to your playing to where you need to stay focused. You need to be on top of your game with it. And that pressure can just bring a lot more zest to a particular practice, especially if you're feeling stale or overwhelmed with things. Just make it, play something easy, but play it for the camera or play it for someone else. And number five comes with a big warning because this is, this is dangerous. So this is using strategic distraction. So if you do this a lot, it's just a terrible practice habit to do this. But once in a while, it can be really fun. I like to use, and this happens very occasionally, but sometimes it does, 
is fiction audio. I listen to a lot of audio books. Just in, in general, I listen to a lot of audio or podcasts. But pop one of those on and then just practice your scales or your right hand patterns or a piece that you're working on, anything that you're doing. And it's just, you're just half listening and half practicing. It's just a nice change of pace to do it that way. So again, if you do this more than once or twice a month, it's, it's just terrible for your focus and concentration. Playing with the TV on all the time, terrible habit, don't do it. But once in a while, pop on the game, practice your scales on the couch, it's okay. It's just a nice change of pace. It's better than not practicing at all. And that's the main thing. You don't wanna plan it in, but if you want to, it is certainly better than no practice at all. All right, if you would like to know more about how to practice well, well then go over to Classical Guitar Shed. We've got tons of resources over there on learning the classical guitar, playing, using your hands better, and also just how to sound more musical and expressive in your playing. And so if you would like to know more about how to do all that, then come visit us. And if you're really serious, we've got a full program, the Woodshed program, on playing classical guitar, and we'd love for you to join us there. And in case you haven't seen this next video, it's gonna be right up your alley. It's a good one, you'll love it. See you soon.